Welcome to the Milford Public Schools Chromebook Overview video. In this video, we're going to show you all about your new Chromebook, so let's get started. Your Chromebook has ports for peripherals, storage cards, and more. On this side, we have a headphone or external speaker port, a micro SD card slot, one of the two USB ports that are found on the Chromebook, as well as the USB Type-C port. The USB-C port is very important as this is where you charge your Chromebook. There are two of these ports on the Chromebook and either one can be utilized for charging. On the other side of the Chromebook, we have a lock port, another USB-C port, which can be used for charging, and another USB port. Your Chromebook also has a built-in webcam and microphone located at the top of the screen. The built-in speakers are located on the bottom of the Chromebook. Okay, so how do you turn the thing on? The power button is located above the backspace key. Like other portable computers, the Chromebook uses a touchpad to manipulate the on-screen cursor. Just like those other portable computers, the touchpad has several gestures to make navigation quick and easy. The first gesture is tapping. Tap one finger to make a selection. Tap two fingers to get options about a selection. You can scroll by sliding two fingers up and down or left and right, as well as sliding three fingers left or right to scroll between your open tabs in Chrome. The keys along the top of the keyboard possess special functionality. These keys are known as action keys. These keys do things like escape from a screen, go back and forward, reload a page, go full screen, display all of the open apps, turn your brightness up and down, as well as mute the speakers. So let's go over some of the general care and precautions for your Chromebook. Do not place anything on top of the Chromebook. When transporting, always carry the Chromebook in the bag. As far as charging, your Chromebook can be actively used without the need to recharge for about eight hours. Please charge the Chromebook overnight to ensure it'll have the maximum battery life for the next day. When not in use or being charged, your Chromebook should be stored in its bag. Let's talk about cleaning your Chromebook. When cleaning any part of the Chromebook, make sure your Chromebook is powered down. Never spray or pour liquid directly on any part of the device. As far as cleaning the screen, the screen should be cleaned with a microfiber cloth. Do not use excessive force. Allow the screen to dry before closing the lid. Never use an alcohol or ammonia based cleaner on the screen. You can clean the keyboard with a lightly moistened soft cloth or wipe and just wipe the key top surface only. Ensure no liquid drips between the keys. To clean the outer Chromebook casing, a lightly moistened soft cloth or wipe can be used to wipe the outside of the Chromebook. Do not allow any liquid to drip into the ports of the device. For information about caring for and cleaning your Chromebook, please check the Milford Public Schools Guide to Your Chromebook document. The link is located in the video description. All right, so let's get logged in. Turn on your Chromebook, click Next, and then enter your district username in the enter your email box. The at students.milfordhead.org portion is automatically filled out. Now enter your password, click next, and here we go. The bottom bar that holds the apps launcher, pinned app shortcut icons in the status bar is known as the shelf. The circle in the bottom left corner is known as the apps launcher. Clicking it will pull up a search menu that you can use to quickly find an app. If you click the upwards arrow, all available apps will be displayed. Clicking a pinned app shortcut icon will launch that app. Clicking the icon again will minimize it. To pin an app to the shortcut area, locate the app you want to pin in the apps launcher. Then right click it, that's a two finger tap on the touchpad, on the app you want to pin and select pin to shelf. The bottom right area of the screen is known as the status area. This status area lets you see your network connection status, battery life, which account is logged in, and more. Clicking on the status area pulls up a menu that can be expanded or collapsed to show more or less information. The status area is where you sign out of the Chromebook, shut down the Chromebook, view your Wi-Fi connection information as well as connect to another Wi-Fi network, check your battery percentage and time left, see today's date, adjust volume settings, adjust brightness settings, adjust notification settings, enable or disable the night light, this setting makes the screen easier to see in dim light, Cast your screen to a compatible device or enable and disable Bluetooth. To connect to your home or other Wi-Fi, click the status area in the bottom right corner of the screen. If you're in the smaller collapsed view, click the upwards arrow to expand to the full view. Click Not Connected. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. If it is a secured network, you'll be prompted for your Wi-Fi password. Your Chromebook can be used offline without an internet connection. All you have to do is enable the offline setting. Go to your Google Drive. Then click the gear in the upper right corner and select settings. Click the checkbox that says sync Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Drawings files to this computer so that you can edit offline in the offline area. Then click done. This only needs to be done one time, but it must be done while you're still connected to the internet. 
To sign out of your Chromebook without powering it off, click on the status area. Select Sign Out. To shut down the Chromebook, you can click on the status area, select Shut Down. You can also press and hold the power button on the upper right corner of the keyboard above Backspace until the Chromebook powers down. To access downloaded files, click the Apps Launcher button in the lower left corner of the screen. Click the upwards arrow to display all apps, then click Files. To customize your Chromebook's wallpaper, move your cursor to the shelf. Do a two-finger tap on the touchpad and then click Set Wallpaper. Select the wallpaper you'd like to use. So here's some of those cool Chromebook keyboard shortcuts that I mentioned earlier. As you can see, you can do things like take a screenshot, lock your screen, send out of your account, and then there's all sorts of really cool text editing keyboard shortcuts too. We hope that this video has gotten you off to a good start with your Chromebook. Check the video description for useful links.